an old photograph of 11 men, car keys, mobile phone, and a handheld voice recorder. The adventure begins. I'm Mary, and I set out to meet those men in the photograph, or meet those who were close to them. These are the men who made up the first board of directors of Kerry Cooperative Creameries Limited, January 1974. My journey first brings me across the fertile plains of North Kerry, close by the majestic River Shannon, and then on through Ballyduff to Causeway. I'm Eamon Barry, farmed all my lifetime in the, fa the family farm in Cheshmore, Causeway, and Mighty Barry was my late father. He was one of the founders board members of Kerry Corp. He represented the Arfet group at Cranberries when rationalisation and amalgamation took place. They worked right through 73 and a lot of 74 to create the rules and the structure which enabled Kerry Corp to be formed. And I was always really proud of his involvement in the creating of the Corp. Uh, delighted to see the 50th anniversary of the establishment of, of Kerry Corp. Uh, being recognised and I wish everybody partaking in the celebrations the very best. Then I headed up and through South Kerry Mountains to Kells. My name is Pat Golden. I'm former director of Kerry Co-op, founder member, and I'm standing here in Golden's of Kells, which is a family business founded in 1776 and still going strong, thank God. Um, I'm delighted to witness the success of Kerry and long may it continue. Onwards into the heart of Kerry, I arrived in Beaufort. My name is Kieran Noshi. I live here in Kiloham, Beaufort. Um, my father, James O'Shea, uh, handed over the place to me in 95. He, was, he sat on the first board of Kerry Co-op that met in January 74. He was very involved in the formation of the Co-op at the time. And um, he was delighted and proud to the day he died. He was proud of what Kerry Co-op became. Back northwards again, in lovely Tralee. This man, Hugh Freel, answered the door. This is Tralee Bay, where I nowadays sail my boat, race it on a Tuesday and Thursday night. And uh, in between, I have an opportunity to sail around this beautiful coastline, take a look in from the water and see how you guys are doing. Count the herd sizes in the fields and uh, think back on uh, some great times and uh, wishing you every success. 50 years seems uh, like one week it has passed so quickly, but it is an opportunity for me to say uh, well done to everybody. Keep up the good work. Travelling out through Abbey Dorney and on to the village of Kilflynn. And there, outside the village, steeped in a love for his home place, I received another Kid Mila Falcha. My name is Monty Hayes. Uh, I'm uh, talking uh, about my, my, my father, my late father, uh, Eddie Hayes, who's here in this picture with my three, with his three grandchildren, my three children. Uh, Eddie Hayes, uh, uh, here in Kilflynn, in Glenbelly Mall, Kilflynn. He was uh, from a family of five, four, four boys and a girl. He was a man with, with vision uh, as to where farming, uh, uh, where he would like to see it going and what needed to be done. And he was a very driven man uh, in, uh, in achieving uh, that goal. His work, in, in his work and his involvement in uh, establishing uh, the dairy industry in Kerry uh, was a long and arduous road through the 60s. Uh, but uh, with the support of his uh, his local community and uh, uh, 
uh, good people of like mind, uh, they endeavoured and uh, eventually succeeded in getting a factory established and uh, getting uh, a very successful management team uh, put in place. And uh, the, that led to the formation of uh, Kerry Co-op in 1970, uh, the first of January 1974. I suppose uh, Eddie Hayes, my father, had, had a vision and I suppose if people have a, a vision in life and, and if they succeed in bringing their vision to fruition, I suppose one, one would have to count that as a very successful life. On to the border with Cork. The road took me to Shrone, Rathmore and into the company of a wonderful couple. And I'm Tom O'Sullivan from Rathmore. And in those early days when Kerry started, we spent a lot of time on the road and everywhere trying to get it going, trying to collect shares and people in the doubt which farmers I would be able to pay. I do want to congratulate all the people involved and the efforts that went in by management and farmers and all. And this is my wife, Grace, and she bore a brunt of a lot of the work because I was on the road so much and here and there and uh, she had to look after the kids that were young at the time and uh, she also had to feed the young cattle and the calves and things, which she did. I don't know how she done it. And I hope now that things will go ahead and uh, keep going ahead and uh, that uh, for the future and that, uh, as the man said, long ago, we, we hope even for better days ahead. Heading into West Kerry and the lovely sandy shorelines of Castle Gregory, another Cade Mila Falcha awaits me. Hello, um, I'm, my name is Joe Shannon. I would be a nephew of Sonny O'Donnell, deceased from Stradley. Um, I'm just speaking on behalf of Sonny, um, all the work he did over the years in Stradley and with Kerry, setting up the Kerry Co-op group. Um, he was very proud of his involvement with Kerry Co-op and to, to, to his dying day, I'd say he never liked to hear a word said against it. He was a very proud Kerry man, very proud farmer and a, a lovely uncle. I'm Thomas Fitzgerald from Kappa. I went to uh, travel with some to all the meetings. Very enjoyable. Great farmer. He was a great man to the to the parish and to the place. Eastbound again, over the Kerry Limerick County bounds to Croom, to Croom House Stud, and to Dennis Brosnan. Yes, during Kerry, but particularly since I finished in Kerry, uh, obviously horses are my passion and producing the best race horses around. And uh, just behind me here is uh, a very famous, now a brood mare, but a very famous filly we sold a number of years ago to the Coldmore Partnership. And uh, they bought her in France at the Deauville sale and they called her Maybe, and she ended up to be the leading two-year-old filly in Europe the next year. And um, since then, um, her progeny, which are the, uh, the, the um, I was going to say the children and grandchildren, but really the, next, the two next generations, uh, they still fill a big part um, in Coolmore's breeding and racing, racing establishment. Now, uh, looking back 50 years, um, it seems a long time ago since uh, a young person with long hair, you know, uh, left London and to go back to Kerry um, and uh, to work with farmers, which I absolutely love doing. I enjoy every day of it, but to work with the farming community to make Kerry different. And uh, it's great to look at it today. It's great to look back and uh, to see what Kerry is today. Ah, yes going south into the pasture lands of Corral. I turn up at a farmhouse door unannounced, but again, I'm warmly received. I'm Tom O'Connell, this is my wife, Brenda. This is Laharn, uh, farm four, and this is the house that my father built and lived in after he got married. 
this is Patsy O'Connell's home, uh, this particular house since 1959, and Patsy was the member for Dick's Grove Creamery, uh, subsequently the co-op, uh, on the board of co-op and on the board of uh, Kerry Group PLC. And we are his family and his son Gary continues the tradition of farming in this area. Next, the road winds along and I'm heading through the hills to Kilgarvan and onwards towards Kinmare. I'm Tom O'Connor of Cahill Kinmare. I was on the first board of Kerry Co-op and I was su subsequently there for nine years. And I learned a lot how business could be done. And I also, everyone improved, everything became good. And I thank Kerry Co-op for for changing the life of the farmers of Kerry. And uh, I would just all I would say, they were really first class men at the start. They were only 28 years and still they made it a top company, one of the top companies in Ireland or in the world. Uh, so that's all I would say. I was really, I, I admire them and I still admire them very much. I'm a fierce admirer still when I look at Kerry, Kerry shares and all that and their leading. I think that's a wonderful, a wonderful tribute to the men that founded them. The final leg of the journey brings me to the Shannon Estuary, to the very top of the county of Kerry, to Tarbert. My name is Michael Wall from Tarbert and my father, Frank Wall, was the first chairman of the Kerry Group, which was founded and met in January 1974. We're all very proud of the hard work that he and the founding members did to set up the Kerry Co-op. We now wish Kerry Co-op and its members congratulations on this 50th anniversary and great success for the future. It has been a bonus to farmers in the Kerry and surrounding areas. Strong roots laid, decent people, visionaries, generous, progressive men, ambitious, capable. The first board of Kerry Cooperative Creameries Limited, 50 years ago. Gurev Mila Mahagriv, August Kokartikas, Gunari and Bohalev, Slon, August Banacht.